Check this out. These are lab grown sea stars. This is years in the making. UW researchers have been waiting for these sea stars to grow and mature. And now for the first time ever, they're releasing these lab grown sea stars into the wild. All these sea stars have ever known is this Friday Harbor Lab. So we're gonna get this out. And after years of calling these four walls home. You guys are going on a big adventure. They get a parade All right. down to the waterfront. Gently lowering it. It's a day. Nerve wracking. Jason Hoden has been waiting for. I mean, this is, we've been talking about this for five years now. Yeah. So like, you know, it's pretty exciting. It's time. So, yeah, it's, it's time. time. It's time. When disease wiped out sea stars from most West Coast beaches, Jason and his team were tasked with saving the population. This is our first time of us putting our captive bred stars out and monitoring them. I'm a lot more worried than they look. They don't look worried at all. Right on. <laughs> These lab grown sea stars are about to be set free in the wild on their own. Nobody's ever done this before with this age of star or with any captive bred star before. So we have no idea what we're going to expect. With an audience of inquisitive minds. How big do they get to be? They can get to be about the size of like a trash can lid. Jason like explains a, like a why they're doing it here in Friday Harbor. Here in our area, we still have some of these stars left, but in some of the places where sunflower stars used to be, like in California, there are almost none left at all. We're going to push this guy into the water. The team has a thought out plan. Divers will put a marker pole on the sea floor. That's where they'll release the stars. They'll analyze how they do on their own. This project is integral to that because we're now finally getting to see what these stars will do when they go out in the wild. And finally, they go. after years of working toward this moment, this is the cool part. The sea stars start their journey. They've got that bin with them and they're going to take it down with them when they descend down to the bottom. The next phase of this years long research is now beginning. It's a million questions that we've had about what these stars will do that, you know, we've been thinking about for years and now we're finally going to get some answers. And as soon as the divers get to the bottom, a few Z stars instantly leave the tub, exploring their new natural home. It's the first checkbox, but it's not like there's a last checkbox. Above water, Jason says this is a big step in helping save a species nearing extinction. We're not going to repopulate the entire ocean with these 10 stars or even with the hundreds that we have in the lab, but we can sort of show how it's done. After years of lab work. That was like five years in the making, basically, yeah. This day <laughs> is worth it's, the wait. It's incredible to think about, yeah. It was really nice to see him swim off with the stars. It's, it's a great moment. But the work does not stop here. You can see these divers over my shoulder. For the next several weeks, UW students will be diving into this area to monitor the sea stars that have been released, see their movements, see what they're doing. If these sea stars are successful and survive, the goal will be to mass produce these lab grown sea stars on a larger scale and release them onto beaches across the West Coast, hoping to replenish this population. From Friday Harbor, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.